Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we got a brand new reaction to the brand new Ellis track. This is After Hours, the first release from 2023 of Ellis. And if you're like, Bowtie, why are we talking about this song in specific? Well, that's because this was voted on by the channel membership, uh, the channel members here on this channel. So if you want to be a channel member, you can be a part of um, the voting and have a say in what songs uh, I do reactions to once a week. These are out. So uh, again, with the messy hair, uh, let's just hop into it. i big fan of Ellis. I always love to hear what his stuff's going to be like. So um, yeah, I heard a sneak peek of this from uh, on socials, but uh, let's hop into the track for real. This is After Hours by Ellis. Love the build here so far. I'm so into love it out. Come with me while I'm falling. Let's get on it. Take the night. Chemical reactions up in after hours. After hours. So take the night. Give me a distraction. I can't take it down. After hours. We can take the night. Oh, quick. Ugh. A little too quick for my liking, but whatever. Who did the vocals for this? That's really groovy. Wow, okay, Ellis, After Hours, big fan. I I mean, I always do love Ellis and that, it just feels like another one right up the alley for me specifically. Uh, love the funkiness of it, the vocals were great. Apparently it was what Amanda Sai was these vocals here that are apparently unfeatured, but, um, or uncredited, sort of, uh, they're just, um, or Jody. I don't know. <laughs> one of these things that uh, maybe uh, well, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what the vocal is supposed uh, but it's great uh, really really fun um, I love the kind of especially in the intro part that kind of um, very warm percussion hit almost it sounds like a, just a, a, like a warm version of a rim shot um, which is, is just like a little more subtle in the mix and I really really liked it I think it added a, a, a real nice layer to the track um, yeah I don't know that's something that really stuck out to me particularly about this track Focus are great. Uh, the groove is is grooving. Uh, production is is solid as as normal from Ellis. Uh, not as explosive of a sound that we kind of hear from Ellis normally, or as I would say similar to like a Dead Man Walking or a um, the, the Taste or Orbit, specifically I guess Monster Cat songs here. Um, so a little bit more laid back, a little bit more of a kind of uh, yeah, just a gentle moving track I would say that still got that energy to it, but not quite as uh, in your face with its um, sound design, which I did like. It's it, I don't. Of all the stuff I've listened to from Ellis, I do like the more kind of explosive sounds a little bit more, but this is also very, very fun. And it, it this feels more palatable, I think, for more people too. It's something that I can play that is a little bit more uh, universal, a little more, it is more commercial friendly in that sense, but a little bit more, I don't know. It just, 
it just for more people, I think is the best way to put it. We'll still sounding like the kind of Ellis that you know and love, at least me personally. So, uh, yeah, great track. Big fan of this one. Um, uh, yeah, I, I really do always love Ellis. His stuff is so fun. Um, there's just something about it. I just, I just really love the, like, I just love funk, electro funk of sorts. I know this is, it, this is kind of just like more electro pop, but just like, I love the funk style that Ellis does. And it just feels so fresh. I think personally, it just feels fresh is the best way to put it. So, uh, but yeah, that is it for my kind of mini reaction slash review for it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below of this brand new track of Ellis. Um, love to hear what you think. Any and all comments in the comment section below. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media and I'll see you guys in another video. Mm -hmm.